this video I'm going to talk about how to have a peaceful mindset and you may think that it's not important but it is very important it's important for yourself and also in your relationships that you have I'm a wife I've been married for 30 and a half years I teach Christian wives how to thrive and develop good relationship with their husbands and children through faith-based content. So if you want to become a good wife, subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell. Tip number one, practice self-care. It's very important to practice self-care and also make it a part of your everyday life. One of the best things for me was when I discovered self-care a couple of years ago. It's going to be very hard to be able to meet the needs of your spouse and also be a good mom if you don't practice self-care because you have to be well in order to make your family well. One of the things that you should start doing if you don't already do it and that is exercise. Exercise at least three times out of the week and if you've never exercised before if it's been a long time, just take your time and take small steps, even if it's just 15 minutes every other day. Every little bit counts. For some reason, I notice like with myself, whenever I exercise, especially when I take long walks, it relaxes me. If I am up under any type of stress, it actually relieves the stress. I notice that I'm able to think clearly when I exercise, and it also boosts my mood. Listen to positive music. If you are feeling down and you just want to boost your mood, put on a song that make you happy, that make you want to dance and just move. It's amazing how powerful music is and it can also make you feel different ways. Watch what you eat. Cut back on fried food, also food that have a lot of salt in it. Make sure you're getting your vegetables and also fruit each day. A couple of weeks ago, I went on a no meat diet and I did it not because I wanted to lose weight, but I just wanted to see what benefits that I would gain out of not eating any meat. And I noticed when I didn't eat any meat, I had a lot more energy. I even cut back on my sugar intake as well. I stopped desiring fried foods and I started craving more healthier foods. So just by watching what you eat can make you feel better, which in the long run will cause you to be happier. Groom yourself daily. Whether you're going somewhere or you're staying at home, you want to make sure that you put on some clothes, comb your hair. It's just something about when you look pretty, it makes you feel pretty. So that's one thing that I try to make sure to do daily is to fix myself up. Not only for my husband, but just for me. Work on issues that you have within. We all have issues. And the only way that you can overcome them is that you have to recognize it. And once you recognize it, you're willing to do something about it. The issues that I had was self-doubt, insecurity, low self-esteem. I have been carrying that around the majority of my life. And so what happens is a lot of times if you have been dealing with something for all of your life, you don't even realize that it's an issue because it just becomes a part of you. But the only way that you are going to be able to break free from that, you have to recognize it. And once you recognize it, you have to figure out a way to deal with that issue. When I started my YouTube channel, I had a lot of self-doubt about what if people don't like my videos? What can I share with someone else that's going to help them? It was just a whole lot of things. And I noticed though, once I started my YouTube channel and creating these videos, even though I was creating them to be a help to someone else, it actually freed me from my insecurities. And so once I became free from that, it made me want to reach out to more women that have the same issue that I had and let them know that you can overcome it no matter what age you are or how long you've been dealing with it. It's just more about you have to set your mind and be willing to do what it takes to be set free. You may have had some unfortunate things that happened to you in your past. One of the main things that you are going to have to do in order to free yourself from for whatever issue that you are dealing with is you're going to have to accept responsibility. Don't play the blaming game anymore. Even if it was someone else's fault, 
that person still can't set you free. That's something that you're gonna have to do on your own. We all have made mistakes in our past. And one of the best things you can do is forgive yourself for that mistake that you made. Learn from it and then move forward. Don't live in your past because you already know you can't change it. Show yourself grace. And that's one thing that I had to work on is to show myself grace. It's easy for me to show someone else grace, but it's hard for me to show myself grace. In the same way that I encourage other people, I had to learn how to encourage myself, how to be my own cheerleader. Forgive others. It's going to be hard to have a peaceful mindset if you have a problem with forgiveness. Because if you have a problem with forgiveness and you don't forgive, whatever it is that you need to forgive someone for, or someone may have done something that really hurted you, the only way that you're going to have a, be able to move forward and to experience peace in your life is you're going to have to forgive that person. Because you don't want to keep reliving the same thing that happened to you in your past that caused you so much hurt because it just keeps you from moving forward with your life. It's going to be impossible to move to the next chapter of your life until you forgive. Don't overwork yourself. What I notice about these days now is like the more busier you are, the more things that you're doing or get involved in, it make you feel like the more successful you will be, but that is not true. Because sometimes we can just find ourselves being busy and doing things that's not even in God's will, not even meant for you to do. So it's, it's kind of like you're running a rat race. You're not going anywhere, but you're just running. So you want to be intentional about your goals, your life, and what you commit yourself to. So just make sure that you don't commit to too many things. And you only commit to things that have something to do with what you desire, where you want to go. I have a question for you. Do you have a peaceful mindset? And if not, do you desire to have one? What are your struggles? If you need help with developing a peaceful mindset, schedule a consultation with me. I will have the information below. If you like my message and you just want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to stay tuned for my next upload about how to have a peaceful mindset.